Welcome back. It's uh, Tony again from HOMA. And today uh, we're going to go over a new process of uh, installing a stator. We're changing from the way we've done it for years with Loctite 609 retaining compound. We're getting away from this and we're going to a new Loctite. It's an EA E40HT two-part epoxy that we're going to be applying to the stator housing and the stator core itself. And we're going to show you today how to apply it and the new process on an F motor and uh, on any stator housing and stator replacement that we're doing, we'll be using this process and we will no longer be using the 609. So the first step in our in the process is to clean the stator housing. We're going to clean it inside, outside, all our O-ring grooves. We're going to use a wire wheel, a flapper, as you'll see here, and uh, prepare it to drop the stator in. Um, you want to use the flapper in the larger areas, as you can see here in the housing, because we're getting in, we're taking bigger swipes at it. The wire wheel I'm putting into where the O-rings are going, to where the flapper won't reach those corners, so I use a wire wheel in those areas, and the bigger surfaces I'm going to use a flapper wheel. Okay, now that you see that we have everything clean, we've used our wire wheel, we used our flapper in the larger areas to get it smooth, and if you rub your hand inside the stator housing, you're looking for any high spots, any nicks, that are going to prevent us from dropping the stator in. And this is nice and smooth. We've also cleaned it with the solvent to make sure there's no residue. So when we put the stator in and we have the epoxy, we're getting that grip that we need between the stator core and the housing itself. So at this point, we're going to paint it just to give it a coat of paint to keep it from rusting later prior to us putting the stator housing in. All right, so here are the three pieces that you'll need to uh, the epoxy, the applicating gun, and the mixing tip. Um, there'll be a link in this video and the bulletin telling you where you can get these, or you can find them at any local Loctite distributor. Okay, at this time, we've prepared the stator housing, and we want to give uh, the stator itself a dry fit to make sure that it's not going to bind up when we lower it in once we have our epoxies on it. So we're going to look down and you're going to see the larger grooves in the stator core itself. Now those are where our leakage wires would go from the bottom up. So if you look inside the housing, you can see there's two openings at the bottom there that our wires can come up through. So we want to line up those larger areas of the stator core that have those slots in those areas. So when it's in place, we can run that wire up without a problem. So we're going to give it the dry fit. Just make sure that it bottoms out. Nothing's going to grab it. It's not going to hang up when we do our final drop. Remember, lowering it down, you want to be careful of the copper windings so you don't nick them or hit them on any of the cast iron because you can break off the insulation and create an issue. So we very careful on how you set it. And then you can see it drop down nicely. When it drops down, there's actually a seat at the bottom down there that you were able to see also when we look down there that that stator core rests on. And you can feel that when it drops down. If you're not dropping down all the way and you don't hear that, that drop into place, then it's not down all the way. So at this time, we're going to Set the stator back on the bench. We're putting some cardboard under the windings so not to crush them or, or scrape them. We're going to prepare our two-part epoxy in the gun, put our mixing tip on, and we're going to start applying our epoxy to the stator core. We're doing this similar to the same way as we did the 3M Loctite. So we're going to put it on all the raised surfaces of the stator core. Not worrying about going into the channels, and you'll see there's a number of different channels on the stator core. But we're not going to add any of this epoxy to that area, because we're just going to actually add it to all the high spots. 
and you can see that being done here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that we have it applied to the outside of the stator core, we're going to go in and we're going to apply the epoxy to the stator housing itself. And if you notice where those two cutaways are for our leads to come up from the bottom up to the top, we're not going to put any epoxy in those areas because we don't want that epoxy to harden or, or interfere with our wires that we want to bring up into there. So we're just going to make two lines on each side. And then we're going to do the same thing we did outside on the stator core to the stator housing. and we're going to make lines across and, and uh, with our epoxy. Okay, now that we have, have the epoxy applied, what's different here than what we used to do is at this point we would just leave it the way we applied it and put it, put the stator in. Now what we're doing is we're actually taking the brush to it, we're smoothing it out and putting a nice layer to get 100% coverage onto our stator core. And you can see how that's happening now. So we do it on the stator core. We check all the way around again. We didn't go in any of those grooves because it's not necessary. We go over to the stator housing itself and we're going to take a brush and smooth out in the stator housing itself. And now we are ready to drop it in place. This epoxy actually has a 40 minute working life. So you have 40 minutes once you start applying it to get it actually in place. So again, we're going to drop it in place. We have those two lines that are there for our wires that are going up that we want to make sure that those large grooves follow. So we watch it going down again, being careful not to hit our copper wires. We drop it down slowly so we can get it started. Now that it's started, we drop it down, lining up our lines, bring it down until we hear it and feel its seat. If you look now, we had 100% coverage of epoxy between our stator core and our housing, and you can see any excess that is being pushed up around that core and up at the top of the stator core and the housing there. So this is a much better epoxy than what we used in the past. We're getting, again, 100% coverage instead of just a portion of it. It's locking in nicely. And that's it. We've put the stator in. There's a 24-hour cure time on it. So I would do it today. I'd come back tomorrow and in that 24-hour period, and we could start reassembling this. If it's a smaller one.